That's a lot of fire. TV today. Wife said, stop what you're doing and watch, hang a TV. The kids are on Christmas break and they needed a TV in the toy room. This is a tool cart. My wife got it in an auction for a dollar. It was caked in grease. It was, couldn't even hardly haul it home. Then it was only a dollar. She couldn't turn it down. I wanted one. I used a four dollar can of brake cleaner to clean it up. After brake cleaner, it looks, it looks like brand new, just like 1972. My wife said it's not allowed in the kitchen. I, it's my tool cart anyway. Look, it's from Costco. Has a model number. It says utility table. Ace AC only volts 125 amps 15 Indiana. There's no power cable on here. I wonder why it would need power. I I could just solder that one on. Hope it's long enough. I've owned this a few years since I cleaned it. There's already spider eggs. That's a lot of fire. Boy, those are gone. <laughs> That's pretty good work. Uh, there's more. There. I just recently regrew hair on my knuckles and now it's burned off again. Oh well. I'm not used to having any hair on my hands. Not for long. I already had a TV that um, the kids could have used, but my wife got another one from Craigslist. See, this is actually, we should have used this one. That's 12 inches. Yep. It's made by Toshiba. I should probably plug it in once in a while. I can fine tune it on the knob. Analog. U UHF. I don't have an antenna on it. I. That's probably UHF. Oh, here's an antenna. Wow, look at that. I was hoping I would get some interference, some kind of signal. Not American TV, because that's digital. Ooh, maybe, you know, intelligent life form from space. Because Saturn still uses analog signals, you know. I saw that in a, I saw, I saw it in a movie. I was pretty young. That, this is a TV. That, that's 19 inches. It's kind of it's kind of gross. The seller didn't clean it. There's uh, different pieces of scotch tape on it, probably holding it together. The feet are built into the bottom little foot pads. But uh, there's some bolt holes here. I'm gonna just I'm gonna stick some bolts in there. See where they go. It has about everything you need. It it's from 2010. There's no remote control. Buttons are on the side. I got this Blu-ray player. Genuine Samsung Blu-ray. It has all the ports you would ever need. It has a LAN connector on it, so that probably means it can do some YouTube or, I mean, uh, Netflix. It didn't come with a remote either. I went to Goodwill, and uh, this is a perfect working remote for the Blu-ray player. Uh, the Blu-ray player is only $7. And I found the remote that goes to it. And they said I had to pay a dollar for it. Goodwill. The TV came with a wall mount. Missing parts. I don't know what these are for. This is an old wall mount we've had lingering around our garage forever. I just cleaned that up. The holes don't match the back of the TV. So all of a sudden this is going to be a lot of work. This kind requires you to mount it onto a stud. If you don't, you'll regret it. This will hold up to 60 pounds. I don't know, after after mounting the TV and anything else, the youngest kid might be able to hang on it. I have an impressive collection of uh, nuts and bolts hardware. That's a number eight. Number six is the winner. So it it's sure has paid off many times to have these things laying around than I did, that I accidentally bought before. The wall mount, the holes are four inches apart and these are three inches apart. I'm gonna kill this thing. That I don't wanna buy the right wall mount if they're even in stock this time of year. I just don't even wanna drive. Everyone's shopping for last minute Christmas. This is Grandpa's combination square. I somehow have not knocked all the dust off of it. I don't use it except uh, at times when I know I won't saw it in half. There, it still has bubbles. 
Still has bubbles in both of the levels. I just need this combination square. I'm already going to change my plans. This is an old adapter mount I made for a 32 inch television we had years ago. But it wasn't for this adapter, obviously. It's I'm going to have to cut this down, but I'm just going to reuse this adapter. It's more material for me to work with for, for my idea. I just got to cut it down a lot. On the 32-inch TV, these four holes are where the TV mounts were. My TV mounts on this 19-inch are right going to be in there behind the, the wall mount. I don't want to cut it up. I like it. American-made Stanley screwdriver. All this stuff over here, up here, and over here is going to go away. So it's going to be this big, about as long as a pencil from there to here. I don't want to cut it up because we still own that 32-inch TV that's in the, our, our basement. Just sawed it outside, keep the dust down in the, in the shop. I don't want to dust. I just put in those four number six screws. The mount has twisting and stuff. hope the TV works when I'm done. The markings are hard to see, but um, th I'm going to drill on those markings. I'm using a uh, 15 32nd inch bit for the number 6 screws. I'm using a spr spring loaded punch so I can get that center of where those mar markings are from the screw heads. I'm going to jam it on there. That's actually the hardest one to see. Measuring it out actually helped me make sure I wasn't seeing things. If I get the right glare on it, I can see where the screw was tapped. 15, 30 seconds. These screws aren't deep enough for this three-quarter inch plywood. The screws only uh, screw into the television three-eighths of an inch. So these fit in nice and loose. I have to drill down five-sixteenths of an inch. And to make the screw head recess, I'm using a 1764 drill bit to drill down five-sixteenths of an inch. 1764 should be big enough for that screw head to fit down into a hole that I drill. I do have one hole that's not deep enough. It's just this one corner hole that I knew was going to be deeper than the rest. I was just hoping I, I could drill just deep enough. I could still get some bites on the thread. That hole won't take screws anymore. I don't know if I stripped it out. So... That, that hole deserves a number eight. Number eight, stove bolt. That's tight. I'm notorious for breaking things when I over tighten them. So, I don't know if I stripped out that other hole or what. It's not getting tight. Three out of four will do. I just reused all the same lock nuts. I mean... They don't have to be lock nuts. I don't need any washers. I found some screws that bite into those the holes on the bottom of the TV that I found so early in this project. Yeah, this one was a different size. I just took a, a coarser threaded screw to so I could get some bite on there. The cover off my seven dollar Blu-ray player. I gotta go in five inches, inch and a quarter, five inches, inch and a quarter. Six and seven eighths, inch and a quarter, yeah, right on. I'm only going to use a one eighth drill bit. I'll just re drill if it's too small. It 
It's on all the way around. I gotta add some, I gotta make this more rigid. Thank you, big box store, for the yardstick. I wanted something thinner. This will work. These are self tapping screws. I already checked for clearance for the screw points. There's, they're not hitting anything. Oh, that doesn't even, that doesn't even wiggle. Let's see how it looks. There it is in all its glory. The TV with the Blu-ray all mounted on one wall hanger. Yeah, that Blu-ray player isn't wiggling at all. I should probably see if it works. I never even checked to see if it worked before I did any of this. I know the Blu-ray player did work. Mm-hmm. That seems like it's going to work fine. HDMI cable. Only way to go. I think I put it in port one. Yeah. Yeah. 1080p. What? That's incredible. A 19-inch 1080p. Okay. This is done. With all this wood behind the TV, not these. The yardsticks are just giving rigidity, adding rigidness to the Blu-ray player. If the speakers are lousy on the TV, then I may just build out something to add some better computer speakers. This should really surprise my wife. I don't, I don't think she was picturing this at all. She doesn't like surprises sometimes. Sometimes she likes them. Sometimes she doesn't like them. Wall mount. Goes right onto a stud, and we'll let the TV go pretty flush. I just added three quarters of an inch to the thickness of the whole thing by adding that plywood. It's been over a week, and uh, it's working really well. You can change the angle of the whole thing. So most importantly, I can get to the back of it and modify some cables. <laughs> I wound up a really nice HDMI cable and for 20 minutes I couldn't figure out why nothing worked. There's a short in the cable that I have nicely wound up so then I crammed a second one in there. To, I'll have to cut that old one out or someone's going to try to use it. But this thing's sturdy. It's not going to go anywhere. You can eject the discs for the older child. It can tilt. I mean, there's, there's no reason you'd want the TV tilted up. Every everything you ever wanted in it is 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 right there. This has already proven to be a good location and, and good solution. I'll probably put an outlet right there by the mount. That's on a stud, so I'd have to mount it on the other, opposite side to the right, and then I can tap into that outlet box. We can get rid of that cable. Imagine that just hanging there without any kind of cable showing. Job well done. Sit, Oh, now look what you've done. <laughs>